If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sammy and I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so you should subscribe. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing my Japan haul. I recently got back from a three week long trip across Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka, and I got a lot of stuff. So today's video is gonna cover clothes, accessories, some candy, some makeup, all that jazz that I bought while in the lovely world of Japan. We're gonna start out with clothes first because that's like why I went to Japan, just to buy cute clothes. Just a disclaimer, before we start, all of these clothes I bought with my own money, I saved up to go on this trip for a super long time, so what I spend my money on and what I do in Japan is up to me. I know some people have strong opinions about just going to Japan to like do all the touristy things and not really do any of the like traditional shrine things and stuff like that, but it was my money. I did what I wanted to when I went to Japan. Okay. Also disclaimer, I might not remember where all of these clothes are from because like I said, it was three weeks and not all of them were like name brands, but I will remember the general area like Shibuya 109, Takeshita Dori, all that stuff. So yeah, give me a break. If you wanna know where an exact item is from because you're going to Japan, I can like maybe figure it out if you ask me in the comments. Okay, let's get into it. One of the things that I noticed that was super in trend when I got to Tokyo were these super long like pleated chiffon skirts. So I bought many of them. The first one I got is from Wego and it is this like leopard print long chiffon skirt. Um, it is a uh, free size and I was actually very surprised that it fits me because the waist is super tiny but it has a lot of like shearing so it fits really nicely and it just goes all the way down and it's pleated all the way down. After I got this one and I wore it multiple times, I really wanted a beige one because I noticed when I was there that a lot of people were wearing beige on beige on beige on beige and I wanted to be beige on beige too. So I got this one from Wego. It's the same, it's free size. This one though has like a gradient pleat so it goes from like being super pleated to not being pleated at all. I think that's a really cool touch. I really, really, really like this one. It's the one I wear most often now that I'm back in the States. And lastly, the last pleated skirt that I picked up is actually too big and I'm super sad. I got this from GU and this is like the only store I went to in Japan that had sizes that weren't free size. So I was like, I'll get a large. It was a mistake. It is very large, um, but I kind of just like and it works, you know? I just have to like tuck in a sweatshirt and it'll stay up, but I wish I would have gotten this in a uh, small. But it's the same thing, it's a long pleated gray skirt. I really like this one, like this would look super cute with this outfit, hello. While I was in Tokyo, it was freaking freezing. So you're gonna notice that a lot of the things that I got are really for warm weather. <laughs> Even though I'm in Arizona right now, it's bright and sunny as you can see. When I was in Japan, it was like, 30 degrees, so I was freezing. The next thing that I bought is this beige cardigan and I got this in a shop in Kawasaki Station in a mall there called Atre, I believe. And I got it from a store called Retro Girl. Mm, I'm a retro girl. Mm. But it's just a long floor length beige cardigan and I got this for pairing with like my beige skirts with like a white frilly shirt and some red Converse. And it's super long and I got this on sale because even though it was freezing when I went to Japan, everything was on sale that was winter clothes because they'd already switched their stock over to like spring stuff. So like I was freezing and everything I wanted to buy was on sale. But yeah, I believe this is like $40 still on sale, but it's like the softest freaking cardigan you'll ever feel in your entire life. I've also only worn it twice. So was it worth it? Not sure yet. Oh look, finally, some color. Uh, speaking of sale sections, when I went into, I believe this was um, not Wego, not Muji, Uniqlo, which I know they have in the States, but we don't have them here. So in their sale section, they had this yellow, uh, ooh, what is this called, sweatshirt. I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be oversized. And yeah, it just looks like this. Big, yellow, comfy boy. I have to say I paired this with some overalls though the other day and I felt like a pastel minion. I can't say I enjoyed that very much, but it certainly was a look. The next shirt I got is this one and this is from Punyus. I got this in Shibuya 109 and it is just this super long oversized blue and red like, um, it's like a long sleeve t-shirt. I wouldn't call it a sweatshirt, but it's super oversized. Punyus, if you don't know, is a plus size store in Japan. And I actually got a pair of pants from there too, but they 
were way too big of a size. So I gave them to my mom and she loves them. Um, I was gonna sell them on, on um, Instagram, but my mom took dibs before anyone else did. So there we go. But yeah, this was like $40 and I absolutely love it. It's super good quality and I really love that on the sleeve, it very subtly says Cunhas. <laughs> I got another cardigan. Now, if you were on this trip with me or met up with me and went shopping with me, every single person I know knew I was on the lookout for a chunky gray cardigan. I really wanted a super slouchy, off the shoulder, high I'm comfy, chunky gray cardigan. And did your girl find one? I found this one at a random thrift shop in Shimokitazawa. It was like a thrift shop, but everything was kind of brand new, so I don't really know what was going on there. Like some stuff was used and then most of the stuff was brand new, but it's just this really long, floor length, chunky knit cardigan. And I wore this so much in Japan, I don't know if you can see this, but I've destroyed it. There are little thingies coming off of it. It also has pockets, which honestly made it way better in my book, but not that good a quality, but what can I expect from like buying it on a random like street vendor store in Shimokitazawa? I'll still wear it. I just need to take like a crochet hook and re-loop back in all the poles, you know? I went into a little mall on Takeshita Dori and there was a little shop in there that had shirts like this. And it's totally like fake, like Nike, Adidas, like stuff, but I absolutely love this style. It's the same style as like the Punyus, like this oversized long sleeve, like boy style shirt. And I just think this is so freaking adorable. Look at it. And it says Nike, Adidas, Nike, Das. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're just gonna pretend it doesn't say that on the front and on the back. It's really big and it's just super long, oversized, super flowy. I love it so much. It is free size, but it fits so freaking good. I love it so much. This is like my favorite thing that I bought and I bought it on the second day. I actually liked it so much that I went back a couple days later and I got a short sleeve version of it that looks like this. It's just white and it's a short sleeve one this time. For some reason, the green one fits perfectly. This one, it's so too big. <laughs> But I get it, it's that like style. This is kind of like a Korean inspired store, the fashion, but I don't know, this one just fits me really big. I like my t-shirts that are cropped, like more tiny like this one, and this one is just like, hello, I'm gonna engulf your whole body. But it's super cute with some like skinny jeans and Doc Martens and a jean jacket. I love him so much, so much, so much, so much. Our first pair of pants in this whole thing. Didn't buy many pairs of pants because it, that's their, Japan have no butt. <laughs> and all the pants were like, they'd fit, but I'd have to like scrunch my butt cheeks in to get them over my butt. These on the other hand are from Uniqlo and they're just these like blue cropped, to be honest, don't know if they're supposed to be cropped, but they are on me, <laughs> uh, flowy legged pants. They're definitely more like dress pants. They came with a belt. I lost the belt. Oh my God, they're throwing off my white balance, hello. So yeah, I got these pants. Not sure if I like them very much. Keep a lookout for them on my Depop. Oh my God, we have so many white things next. I got a lot of white. I was in a very white mood. So this is another thing from Uniqlo and this is a button-up shirt, just very plain, very classic, just to tuck into some of those long skirts, throw a nice warm jacket over the top and we're good. It's one of the like wrinkle-free ones. Um, I can tell you it is actually wrinkled now, so can't really say that's not a lie, but it definitely is less wrinkled than other things that I own. I also got this from Uniqlo and I actually already cut this and cropped it, but it is just this little uh, Meiji marble chocolate. It's basically the M&Ms of Japan on a little t-shirt and I just thought this was so cute. Imagine this with my this hat and these bangs. Wow! Oh, a video on how I dyed this wig will be coming soon. So don't ask about it in the comments. I promise it's worth the wait. The next shirt I got, I actually got thrifting. I actually got two things thrifting. I got a pair of pants, but I can't find them. They're somewhere in the wash, but I promise you they're adorable. You'll see them in an appearance in a different video, I swear. They're also in the vlog. <laughs> if you wanna watch, I'll link the playlist to all my Japan vlogs below. I got this uh, Ingu shirt from a thrift shop in Ameyoko and it was $5. And it's this super cool like waffle knit, uh, long sleeved V-neck t-shirt. And I cannot, this is so slippery, I keep dropping it. But yeah, it just looks like this. And it's super big and oversized and comfy and I love to wear it. Hello neighbors, you like my dancing? <laughs> I hate everything. You guys still here? This is a long freaking haul video. The next thing I also got in a random shop in Shimokitazawa and the brand is Ojame. It's made in Korea. 
so I'm assuming it's Korean because the whole store was like kind of Korean. Um, sweet cactuses, nature's goods. Are these macarons? Dessert will forever be one of my favorites and if you're lucky, it will be one of yours. Try to eat me and you'll get pricked. What? This is $40, but I needed it because it has macaron cactuses on it. I absolutely love it. It's just a one size fits all gray sweatshirt and it's super comfy. The next thing I picked up uh, in Yokohama at a random like thrift store where everything was like, I think this was like $2 or something. I don't know how to style this. I just got it because I figured it would look cool. I also like was seeing everyone posting their pre Coachella pics and I was like, I want something long, flowy and see-through. So I got this shirt. It's really long, flowy and see-through. It also kind of looks like something a maternity woman would wear, like a pregnant, a maternity woman, a pregnant lady. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. I haven't styled it yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what, how I'm gonna style it to do the try on even. I just really like this fabric. It's so pretty. Okay, lastly, I have one thing that I got from WeGo, but it's from Converse, but they just sell it at WeGo. Kind of like how in America they sell um, Converse at like Target, but it just looks like this. It's a little, well, it wasn't, it's a men's shirt that they had at WeGo, but I cropped it, turned it into the cutest crop top ever, um, and it just has a red Converse on the front. Look at it, it's so cute. Um, I absolutely love that I cropped it because I'm wearing it a thousand million times more because when I got up to the checkout, <laughs> I didn't know this was men's so I just grabbed a large assuming it was like women's and I wanted it to be big and oversized and comfy. And the man was like, oh, it's it was all in Japanese by the way. And he's like, oh, it's men's size, is that okay? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's okay. He's like, large? I'm like, yeah, it's okay. And then I left the store and I was like, <laughs> It's cute now that I cropped it, but it was like down to my knees. <laughs> Read the labels, children. Accessories. 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 Okay, so I got a bunch of accessories. Let's start out with shoes. Ugh, my mic is not long enough. I bought two pairs of shoes on this trip. One for necessity and one because I wanted them. The first pair is this, these Nikes. Um, I realized about two days after I got there that my shoes that I brought were kill. Oh, my mic. Hi, my mic was just tucked in my shirt and I don't know how long it was tucked in my shirt, so let's hope the audio wasn't muffled for too long. <laughs> these were like 50 bucks at an ABC Mart in Kichijoji and they're just like basic Nikes. I needed these because my feet hurt so bad. <laughs> So I bought these and put them on immediately. The next pair of shoes I got are some that I've been wanting for so freaking long and I took the time to get them while in Japan in Ameyoko because why not? I got some red Converse. Oh my God, they match my shirt, cute. But yeah, I've wanted these for so long and um, yeah, they were kind of cheaper because I bought them in Japan, don't know why. Um, they're a size five and a half and I'm so excited. I love them so much. Look at how cute they are. I got a lot of hats. I went into Japan knowing that I wanted bucket hats. I love a good old bucket hat. I think they're super cute. I think they suit me a lot. And I bought this one first and I loved it so much. So then I went to WeGo and I got this Fila one. It's super cute, super red. We love him a lot. He's super cute. I've been wearing him on a lot of videos recently. Well, you haven't seen them yet, but I've been filming a lot of videos with that on. <laughs> then one day I was wearing my beige skirt and like my beige cardigan and I was like, I want to be more beige. So I got this beige Fila uh, cap at a Village Vanguard, I believe. Um, I think it's really cute. It was stupidly overpriced, but I love it. Next also, it was a hat by necessity. We were out on Takashita Street and and it was just hot and I wanted a hat on. So I bought this one at a really random shoe store. It just says Los Angeles. I wish I would have waited because I saw cuter ones later at Owego, but I had already bought it. So I rocked that denim on denim that day. Next thing I bought at a store called Three Coins was just this little, like, it's like a straw beret. And it's just really freaking cute. Once again, it's beige. And the last hat that I got was actually at Disneyland and it's the super freaking cute Mickey Mouse one with the ears. It was like $40, I don't even care. It was adorable. I walked around Tokyo Disney Sea being as cute as heck. Oh my God. In my freaking Mickey hat, look at me. Adorable. Will I ever wear it again? Probably not. Maybe in a video. Who knows? I got one belt from Forever 21, <laughs> I believe, right? Yeah, Forever 21. No, we go? Mm, I don't remember. 
I got this red belt to wear with things. It came in handy a lot and I really like it. It's also this kind that I don't know how to undo and redo, so it causes me problems. Bags, my dude. I don't know why, but Japan has so many cute bags. I bought three of them. My friend Gemma bought like 30 of them. The first thing I bought out of necessity, but I actually really like it and I've been using it almost every day. I got this Adidas bag from a village vanguard, I believe, once again. And it's just like a cheeky backpack that you put on and put all your stuff in it. Well, I find when I'm in Japan, I carry around so much more stuff than I ever do anywhere else. So backpacks come in handy. I wish I would have bought it earlier in my trip, but I bought it on like the second to last day. I used it on the plane ride home. He's a good boy. The next bag that I got is one that I used every single day of the trip up until I got that bag and another bag. It's just this Fila, like, like you wear it like this. Hello, and I just love it so freaking much. I think it's so cute. It's really dirty on the back from me wearing it against blue jeans and the blue jeans staining it. But um, I think it's really freaking cute. And I got it at a Wego, I think. No, I got it at a random bag store in Shibuya 109. It's flipping hot in here, my dudes. Oh, my bangs are freaking sweaty, stuck to my forehead. The last bag that I got is this one. It is just a bum bag that I wore like this across my body. I really was into that hands-free lifestyle. And I actually got this one from a magazine. Like it came free with a Fila magazine. Um, so like, honestly, did I buy the magazine only to get this bum bag? Hell yeah, but it was totally worth it. It was like $14. I love this so much. Look at him. If it was $14, did this come free with the magazine or did the magazine come free with this? We'll never know. I might have lied when I said those were the last two bags. Those were the last two purses, but I actually bought these two bags in Ameyoko. They're just like the milky girl, but they're like cute little matching makeup bags. So now my makeup travels in style. I love these so freaking much. Ooh. Fabric that was really popular in Japan, which I love because this is my favorite fabric ever. It's like that varsity patch fabric that's super soft. I love these so much. They were like $20 each, but totally worth it. The guy gave me a discount too, so. Oh yeah, and I got this keychain uh, from W Heart C, and it's the little bunny mascot dude, and I love him so much. Speaking of keychains, we're gonna run through all of these quickly because I soon realized when I got back from Japan, I had a keychain addiction while I was there. So at that random like Korea shop where I got that macaroon thing, I also got this mahjong tile. Uh, thing, at least that's what we think it is. Uh, we tried to translate this when we got home and it said it said moth. So if anyone can tell me if that actually says moth in Chinese or whatever, let me know. Um, I also got this Dongo keychain from one of those realistic plastic food repli replica shops. I got this lollipop keychain from a Daiso. I got this curry rice uh, keychain from a Wego. And I got this Taiyaki keychain from a 99 cent store that was across the street from my house. This is old, but I also got it from Daiso in America. And my favorite keychain of all that I got that I think is so cute and I like low key wish I could have like worn him as an accessory in this video. Oh my God. I could loop him through my freaking. Nope, not today, maybe in a different video. I got this little dinosaur keychain from W Heart C. It's so cute, look at him. They were having like a dinosaur collection collaboration while I was there, but I couldn't like get anything else because it was kind of ugly. So I got this and I love him. Look at his stupid face. 10 out of 10, good purchase. Okay, I have a couple more accessories. <laughs> Promise, we're almost done with the accessories. Then we go on to random shiz. So I got this set of two uh, berets, berets, no, barrettes from um, Wego and they just like clip onto your hair like this. So freaking cute. I have two of them, I can't find the other one. Um, but yeah, I really like these. It's like in a tortoise shell color. Then at a random shop in um, in Lumine, Lumine, Luminist, one of those shopping malls, I got this little doodle star necklace. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have an obsession with doodle stars. So when I saw this, I was so freaking excited. And it's just a little tiny gold necklace that I love so much and I'm probably gonna lose and be very sad. I wanted to get some super cute pin badges while I was there, so I got two pin badges. This one is from Wego and it's just like a little like thingy, it's a heart. <laughs> um, and then I got this one from the Unko Museum and it's just a little poop carrying 
a squat toilet around. <laughs> I had to. And lastly for accessories, I got two more things. These are like inside the purse accessories. I got this wallet because I quickly realized when I got there, my wallet doesn't fit like the like yen, like the bills. And it also didn't have a change compartment, which this one does. Like it has a change compartment and then like money compartments, which came in handy really well. Um, I just basically carried this around inside my bung bag, inside my bum bag, and that's it. So yeah, Fila wallet. Is this 100% fake? Oh yeah, because I don't think Fila makes wallets. And the last thing I got on one of the last days is this super adorable passport holder that has rainbows on it. I got it from Kath Kidson. It was like $25, but it's totally worth it. This is the cutest passport holder ever. There's my Japan stamp. Oh my God. But yeah, look at that. So freaking cute. Makeup time, my dudes. Okay, the first makeup I'm going to be showing you is this one that I got from Shin Okubo in which is basically Koreatown in Japan and I got these in like a Korean cosmetic store and these are the Samyang X Tony Moly I believe uh freaking ramen makeup so I got the lip tint which is super cute and it looks like this it's like bright freaking red um and I got the blusher which is also bright red and it has a little Samyang fire chicken on it ha so cute staying along the lines of Korean makeup I also got these 3CE uh, lipsticks. I got this one in the shade Save Me and this one in the shade Enjoy Love. And I freaking love these. I think they're adorable. They're super like smooth and nice on the lips. Also from Style Nanda, 3CE, whatever. I got this mirror for when I do makeup tutorials. I think it's so freaking cute. Like, look at that. Ah, why? Is everything in Japan so cute? Uh. Then also from Style Nanda, I got this Take a Layer uh, like blush and it's so aesthetic and it just is in the shade. Come on time, common time, common time. And it just looks like this. It's bright freaking red. It's super hard to use because it's so pigmented. Then I got this Dear Darling lip tint from Etude House in the shade. <sighs> orange 202 <laughs> and it's bright orange look at it it's so orange look at it whoa i really liked orange this trip and then the last lip oh my god it's so dirty <gasps> no it's dirty but i got this limited edition well the the lipstick isn't limited edition but the little sakura thing on the top is it's just a pretty pata lipstick in the shade like apricot or something. It looks like that. It's super pretty orangey pink. Why do I look like just a beaver? Okay. In the same shop that I got the Samyang collection, I got this Innisfree No Sebum Moisture Powder because Edward Avelia always recommends it. So I had to try it. It's good. It smells like baby powder though, which is really weird. Okay, for like Japanese makeup, I got these Powder Cheeks Can Make Tokyo Blush, which is the weirdest color ever. It's literally skin colored. I don't know why I thought it would be like a cute orangey blush. It was not, but I own it now. Probably never gonna use it because literally, let me swatch this for you. It's weird. And then, oh my God, skin food. Is skin food Japanese? I'm pretty sure it's Korean. It says made in Korea, so it's Korean. I got this limited edition Cherry Blossom, Cherry Blossom Moisture Lip Treatment, and it's super cute, and it's super hink, and super glassy and nice, but, sorry, I ran out of memory. It tastes like arse cheeks. This is gross. I don't know why it tastes so bad, but it freaking does. So there's that. It's cute, it smells good, tastes bad, man, ugh. When my friend Gemma would put hers on, because we both got it, and then we'd share a drink, she'd waterfall it, because she'd be like, I don't want you to have to taste what's going on here. Oh my god, I totally forgot a makeup item. And I got this Pity Pata Ink BB Cream in the shade, the lightest one they make. I got two perfumes while I was in Japan. Um, the first one I got is this W Dress Room New York Eau de, Cl Eau de Cologne. <laughs> Uh, 51 Juicy Grapefruit. This is the cutest little packaging ever and it smells uh, like grapefruit, like pure ass, fresh ass. I just squeezed a grapefruit all over my body in the morning. It smells so good. It wakes you up. It literally smells like that old like bursting clean and clear grapefruit face wash. Thumbs up this video if you know what I'm talking about. And then the next perfume that I got, oh my God. 
I've seen this before in like America, but never in person. I got the ma Mashkino, Mashkino, Mashino, Mashkino, Windex perfume. Look at that. It, missed opportunity though. You'd think, okay, ch -ch 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 -ch, no. It sprays like that. Really, Mashkino? Really? You had a whole design team and you didn't think that this would be the best thing in the world? You'd be like, oh. I'm disappointed about that, but it's literally a little Windex bottle. It smells so good. I want to get the full-sized version. Ah, I love it. Now we're moving on to some stupid things I got. <laughs> things that I definitely did not need, but I got anyways. Plushies. Okay, so the first plushie I got is this one. This is Shiro from Crayon Shinchan, right? Hello? I believe so. Um, but I renamed him Doug because I don't like that anime. So now I have Doug and I won him out of a claw machine. Look at him, he's so freaking large and I won him out of a claw machine, guys. Took me six tries, looks six bucks. Hell yeah. I had to carry him home on the plane. Everyone looked at me. I, I, I checked out and I bought some stuff at a gift shop in Tokyo airport in the airport in Japan. And the girl was like, oh, Shiro-chan, kawaii. And I was like, ha. Ah. Okay, his name's Doug, thank you very much. And then I went to Daiso and I really needed a pillow the entire trip. So I bought this cute little bear pillow and his name is Dongo. Well, that's not his name, that's the name I gave him. Look at him, oh my God, he's so cool. I love him, he's so squishy. He's one of those like marshmallow plushies that are like super squishy. He's cool. And that's what you missed on Glee. Also along the lines of plushies, I got this little tiny guy as a souvenir in um, Kyoto at Fushimi Inari. And he's just this cute little lucky cat holding a fish. Look at that. I love him. When I was in Osaka, I went to the big aquarium they have there and I got this cup that I'm not gonna drink out of. I'm gonna plant a succulent in it. But look at it, it has all of the fishes on it and it says their names in Japanese. Um, where's my favorite fish? Is my favorite fish on here? He's not. My favorite fish is an ocean sunfish. Oh my God, look at this dude, he's pregnant. Pergnant. When I was in Tokyo airport, I got this like lucky cat Daruma little statue thing. I just thought it was cute. I wanted it for my desk and now I own it. Was it overpriced because I got it in the airport? Hell yeah. I got some kitchen slash food things to uh, end off this haul, um, which I'm so sad that it's over because I've been dreaming about doing a haul about what I got from Japan for like seven years. But anyways, I got this Japan mug from Starbucks. It was $15. It's from the You Are Here collection. And it just has all these Japan things. And I think it's so freaking cute. I mean, come on, when you love Starbucks and you love traveling, you gotta get one of these everywhere you go. I got a whole bunch of these wooden spoons from a really tiny little like mom and pop handmade thrift store in my town in Kawasaki. And um, they just look like this. I got a bunch of them. I also got a bowl and a spatula, so. There we go, boring adult things. And lastly, what a boring way to end off this haul. This is the only food I brought back from Japan. I have these throat lozenge candies. Um, we definitely thought they were like sore throat relieving things, but they're just lozenges like to suck on. They come in peach, lemon, grape and apple flavored. They're really good, it's just they're not what we wanted, but I brought them home anyways, cause like candy. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for my Japan haul and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see what I got up to while I was traveling around Japan, I have a playlist of all of my vlogs from the days, all of the shenanigans that me and my friend Gemma got up to for an entire month in Tokyo. So if you want to, you can check that out. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello, please be sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you ever need some cheering up, I will be here to cheer you up two times a week. But anyways guys, if you actually liked the video, please remember to like it by clicking the thumbs up. If you were subscribed already and you have not yet, click the bell below to turn my notifications so you know if I'm gonna post, you can actually enjoy my content, join the party. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, flop.